At guard for Bloomfield, a 6'2 junior from North Bergen, New Jersey, number 11, Diavion Ellis. He was a star for Bloomfield. He finished with 14. Our first points of the championship game. And Diavion Ellis sinks the straight on three. It's really interesting to note, it's probably because of the, Je the Jefferson defense, but three perimeter jump shots for Bloomfield to start the game. Ellis all the way to the basket off the turnover. Five straight for Ellis and Bloomfield, and they lead 5-0 a little bit more than two minutes in to our championship tilt. I think shot for Marcus Bucknell. He had 10 points yesterday. Big time player off the bench in the CACC tournament for Coach Holmes. Ben Denny, the nation's leading shot blocker, gets his first in transition. Ellis rising for two. Uh, and there it is. There's another run that, we, that we've been talking about today. Bloomfield cutting that nine point deficit down to two. Well, you see how Engine can just start the break. Great block shot right to Ellis. Really smooth pull up jump shot. Diavion Ellis with a nice start here in the first half. Sure is, partner. Seven points on three out of four shooting, shouldering the load for Bloomfield. The junior came in averaging better than 12 and a half points per game. Marist in UMBC. Ellis attacking and laying it in, and we're having a good one against one matchup between Bird of Jefferson and Ellis of Bloomfield. Yeah, Diavion Ellis, what a tremendous start for him. And that time, you see him head fake, head and shoulders go to the basket. Great finish. Nine, nine, nine. That's easier said than done today. Let's get it on, half number two. Bloomfield left to right on your screen, trailing by 14. It would seem that the first couple of minutes will be critical for them as they try to fight their way back in it. Ellis, that's a good start for Bloomfield. Count the basket and an opportunity for a three-point play. Diavion Ellis, who was the bright spot in the first couple of minutes in half number one, in immediate impact in half number two. And that really needs to be the formula for Bloomfield. They've got to look again to get things going to the basket and Ellis has been terrific so far today in doing so. Ellis up to nine points. He had 10 in the quarterfinals. He had seven to go along with five rebounds yesterday in the semifinal win. A rock fight with Dominican. And the southpaw with a heavily bandaged left wrist. Converts the old-fashioned three-point play. Just the start that Bloomfield was looking for.